Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, uh, let's see, 16, called Afterlife. Um, this one, if you remember where we last left off, this guy was, was uh, taken, you know, by Gordon at the end, and she blasted the, uh, the new S.H.I.E.L.D., okay, and Coulson vowed to get the old S.H.I.E.L.D. back in May, Gave up at the end. Okay. And basically the old show got taken over by the new show. Okay. Anyway, and this episode begins with Coulson and uh, Hunter basically co commandeering a truck. So, and they make their getaway. They knock out the used car driver and take off this nice spiffy truck. And that's when Coulson and uh, Hunter have a conversation where, you know, Coulson's just pissed off about about uh, Mac and uh, Bobby betraying S.H.I.E.L.D. And he wants to pay back, but Coulson, no, they're S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, so, you know, a lot of, and these other agents, they're S.H.I.E.L.D. too, but I do want my shit back. And they also have to get Sky. Okay, then we meet Sky. She's at a place called Afterlife, where she wakes up and she has all these, <laughs> I guess, sort of like acupuncture or something like that and and Gordon tells her she's been there for like two days and he introduced her to another inhuman named Lincoln and he's basically saying he's going to be her transitional guide and, and he takes her on a tour of this place that's so remote they don't know where it is and she said only he tells her that basically only Gordon you know can get everybody here and there and he introduces her and tells her you know show her all the spots and where everything is and how these other people are some people are just transitioning waiting to see you know they have the gene for the inhuman uh you know to actually make the transition to a full you know inhuman with powers and stuff and that's why and everybody's staring at her and she's you know she you know she's saying basically uh why everybody's staring at me he says well, listen you're the first person to in a, in a real long time that actually knowingly got transitioned with by the diviner Okay, and now we flash back to the sh S.H.I.E.L.D. ship where Agent Gonzalez, Edward James Olmos' character, is trying to, uh, he actually introduces himself to uh, Fitz and Simmons and basically tells them that he wants them to open up their little box that Fury gave to Coulson, a box of secrets. Okay, and of course, you know, Fitz is not going to do it. And they basically tell him, listen, if you don't want to do it, it's fine. Uh, you can go. Once we, you know, debrief you, you can, you're free to leave. Okay, he said, basically said, we're S.H.I.E.L.D. and we're not about holding people hostage, you know, you're S.H.I.E.L.D. and we're S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, and of course, uh, you know, they're having trouble doing it. Then Gemma actually volunteers, you know, saying that they're looking at it the wrong way. And she volunteers to, to crack the code, or so to speak, crack it. Okay, and uh, Fitz and Mac have a conversation where Fitz says, he's sorry that it came, to, well, Mac says, actually, he's sorry that it came to this. And he still considers Fitz his friend. Fitz said, well, my friend used to be Matt. You know, he still feels betrayed. Okay, and now we flash back to uh, uh, Coulson and, and Hunter. They go to the cabin where Sky was, <laughs> and they see the, uh, the damage, and they look at a, get the recording out of a busted up camera and see, you know, what Sky did and how she vanished with Gordon. Okay, and then, of course, uh, Gonzalez sends more shield agents and you know, they track Coulson to the cabin and of course they have it reinforced and he's basically telling uh, Coulson's telling Hunter listen I got backup coming okay and, and Max want, uh, Hunter wants to wants to shoot the kill and he said no these shield agents Coulson reminds him look we're just going to use ICERs okay they're agents this, you know they work for shield so anyway you know takes them about an hour to break in Okay, and they break in, and as soon as they break in, they uh, see Coulson and uh, Hunter playing cards, and of course this is a hologram, so of course they wind up shooting the agents, <laughs> or icing them, and they take their uniforms and head to the uh, to the plane. Okay, where they get captured, <laughs> to the uh, Quinjet, where they get captured and brought on the, on the ship, and then just as the ship is getting ready to take off, you see a hand reach in, you say, yeah, that's my backup, and it's Mike Peterson, a.k.a. Deathlock. Okay, and he, okay, knocks out the agents, and 
coming to use the plane of Quinjet. So now they're in the air. Okay, and also now you flash back to Gordon. Gordon has vanished for a little while, and now you see where he is. He's with Cal, Sky's fa loving father, okay, who's basically gone back even more crazy than he's been before. You see, he's destroyed the room that he's in, and his hands are all bloody, and he's basically, you know, saying, uh, you know, why you keep me here? This is a place that doesn't even have a window, you know, and then he kind of primarily guesses. He said, because you lack control, and then Cal kind of guesses, said, listen, you have Sky, you found her, haven't you? He said, I want to see my daughter. He said, well, you know, he said, and, she, and Gordon tells him, basically, you sealed, because you're lack of control, you basically sealed Sky's fate, okay, and then he vanishes. Okay, now, uh, back to the uh, Sky, you know, she's getting a tour by uh, Lincoln, and he's showing around and showing her his powers, and at some point, he, he, he makes a, a verbal slip where he kind of makes mention of uh, someone else with power, and Sky pretty much guesses that's Reyna, and she basically heads up and basically finds Reyna hiding in the shadows. And the and, and the guys Lincoln uh, explains to her, Sky, she's going through the same transition as you, and she's here to be protected. And Sky says, "You don't know what she's done," and you know she's gone on. Oh, she's killed people, and then she starts, of course, her powers start getting out of control. And she's basically, and, and Rainer basically shows herself to her, and, and she said, go ahead, yeah, go ahead and finish it, you know, and basically won't, asking her to die, asking herself, you know, this guy to kill her, and Sky's obliged, and when, da da da, Sky's mother walks in, okay, and tells her to stop, and gets her to stop, actually stop, and, but she basically says, listen, I know she's done, but here, she's, you know, she's, everybody here is at peace, and nobody, you know, no judgments on anybody, and she's here to make the transition as well. And of course, Skye's is pissed, pissed and wants to walk run off, but uh, her mother, who doesn't tell her that she's her mother, uh, tells her, "Listen, uh, I'm here to work for you for a few days, and if you, at that point, if you're not close, to, you're not feeling close, closer to me, you can leave." Okay, so that's the end of that, and then you see uh, Kyle gets visited by. Sky's mother, and she said, and when well, she hugs him, said, "Yes, you help find my daughter," and she gives him a hug. Okay, that's a time that's interesting. Okay, and I wonder if she will reveal herself to her daughter and tell her that, you know, she's her mother. Anyway, and remember the last time we saw her, she was basically in pieces and you know, Whitehall basically carved up her organs and harps her organs. So, but I think she's probably like part of her gift finding that she can regenerate herself. Okay, which I'll probably explain later. Anyway, um, and then we go back to the helicarry, and we think, actually, let me go back. We go back to Gonzalez. He brings May into the into a room, and he has a gun, and he t basically tells a story about my father used to kill Nazis with this gun. Uh, he said it could never miss, and also, and he goes to the end of the table, and May's at the other end, and he slides the gun towards her, and basically tells her, "Listen, you know, you can be. I want you to, you know, be part of the council." And and he said, if you don't believe what I was saying, you know, you could, you know, you could shoot me. And he said, I don't want. He said, well, we're fighting against each other. Hydra's still building up, so we have to get Coulson and resolve this, you know, so Shield can, you know, be united and not get overtaken like it was before by Hydra. And he, you know, he like I say, he slid the gun towards uh, May, and and Agent May kind of. Declines his offer, but she slides it in back. She said, I know you wouldn't give me a, a loaded gun. And he actually unclicks it and unloads it, and it is loaded, uh, which kind of surprises her. And he, you can see the wheels are kind of turning in her head that this guy is not just, you know, a bad guy. You know, they, maybe, you know, he actually does care about S.H.I.E.L.D. Anyway, uh, back on the ship, uh, when Fitz finds out that Simmons is actually helping them with the box. He comes in and, said, and basically they have a little quarrel saying that uh, you know that this would push me away. And he picks up the box and puts it back down. And, you know, the little Fury's box picks it back up and, you know, picks it up puts it back down. And then he just marches off to leave. Okay? And you can kind of see the tension between him and uh, Fitz and Simmons. Okay? And then you see uh, Fitz is going off. You know, he, you know, Grabs his bag, gets a taxi, and you see him driving off. And he opens up, opens up his bag, and he pulls out the real Fury's cube, 
okay, and a note from Gemma, you know, saying this is a, and she had a sandwich in there for him. So now you know that Fitz and Simmons actually are still working for Colson, and they basically managed to steal the box back, <laughs> uh, the previous box back, and left a phony duplicate one there. Okay, so you know they're still on that side. And then we go back to the plane, okay, where Peterson and um, Colson and Hunter are on it, and they basically said, listen, we're going to, before we find Sky, we're going to need help from someone to help Sky. Sky. So he's basically saying Peterson's been undercover with this uh, tracking, uh, this, this head of Hydra, one of these heads of Hydra, and there's a, a connection, one person that knows where it's possibly where Sky is. And of course, they say, dun, 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 dramatic pause, Grant Ward. So they have to go basically find Grant Ward and, and help them, grab him and help them hopefully find Sky. Okay, why he's so intent upon finding Sky, eh, you know, I don't, you know it, the Sky love is kind of over the top. But anyway, this was a good episode, actually. Like I said, you had Crazy Cal, <laughs> which is always a plus. You had his mo uh, Sky's mother. Which was really good, and plus you had Deathlock coming in there too at the same time. May was kind of sidelined; she didn't get to kick ass at this, but still be a badass, okay? And you got Raina, which is always good to see her again, okay? And you get Gordon, so it was a pretty good episode. And a lot of things happened in this episode, so I'm anxious to see where the story is progressing, okay? So I'm gonna give this episode a a seven point eight. I, I really like this episode. I think this episode is good. I like the deception between. Uh, Fitz and Simmons, that you know they really are working together now, okay, and they got the real theories toolbox out, and, and hopefully somewhere uh, uh, Fitz will hook back up with, uh, with Coulson and Hunter, which they probably will. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, if you've seen this episode, what do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.